Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the Sparky Only Situation. My name is Sparky, the guy the show is named after, and we are playing Jack and Dexter to 100% completion. Here we are today at the Precursor Basin. We're gonna herd some moles, we're gonna get a record time, we're gonna cure the Dark Ego Inflicted Plants, we're gonna get a bunch of more power cells, collect some scout flies, and get 200 Precursor Orbs. All while riding the Zoomer. Which, as I established before, can be a little difficult to control sometimes, so this should be fun. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but doing everything on the zoomer can be a little, uh, a little long-winded. Because the entire time you're riding the zoomer... Oh. Yeah, he might. The entire time you're on the zoomer, the controller is vibrating, so it kind of makes your hands go numb after a while. Not too big of a deal, I guess. You can just turn the rumble off, I think. Don't really know if I'm going to bother, though. So we've got ourselves some lightning moles. We're herding them back into their hole by chasing them around and making them probably terrified for their lives. And we've also got these flying lurkers around. Ow. Poop. Yeah, no kidding. And this is the last lightning wall, I think. Yep, there we go. Can't get the power cell just yet. Because uh, we gotta go back to the geologist for that. But we can chase this guy around. Take that. It is very key to remember that you can jump while on the zoomer. The first time I played through this game, I actually forgot there was a jump function, and that kinda messed me up a few times. Ow. This place is very zoomer heavy. You gotta get a good handle on it in order to, uh, well, get everything. And forgetting that you've got a jump button really does hurt. Imagine if you were playing Mario and you forgot you could jump. That would be silly. Whoa, he just did a 180. Chasing him down, and he... Freaking heck, time and space. That's no fair. I can't do that. Actually, I want to say in the later Jack game, there is a, like, a time slow mechanic? I don't remember. I have been Jack 3. Jack 3 is probably the one I played the least. Ow. I exploded. Oh well. Let's do it again. Actually, that's a lie. I probably played Jack X and, uh... Lost Frontier the least. Definitely Lost Frontier the least. <laughs> uh, lost Frontier... It's a good game to have, I guess. I just cannot stop running into stuff. Oh. Get back here. Lost Frontier is an okay game. But just by the Jack and Daxter standards, the original trilogy set. I mean, even the side racing game met those, in my opinion. There we go. But Lost Frontier is just kind of iffy, at best. I just didn't enjoy it that much. Probably gonna play it eventually. But got a whole bunch of other Jack games to go through before that. I don't even know if I'm going to do Jack X. I am not very good at Jack X. Kitty. Ugh. Hey, guess what? My cat is doing exactly what she shouldn't be doing and stepping on my game console. Get off! Missy, get down. Come on. Be a good cat, please. Please? I'm trying, I'm trying to entertain the masses. Ugh, anyway. Cats. Gotta love them, but sometimes they... Sometimes they get in the way. 
Uh, before we head into this area, we're going to try to take care of one more thing over here, which is the time trial the gambler mentioned. Which, if you know the area, is not that bad. I didn't think I was actually going to make it up that. Alright, just got to focus a little bit. Not bump into too many things. Even if you don't remember the area that much, the time trial area, it's not really that big of a problem. 45 seconds might not seem like a lot of time, but it's actually pretty lenient. All, uh, comparatively. See? I even ran into quite a few things there, and I got it. It's just a matter of getting the hang of the zoomer and whatnot. Ah, uh, let's see. What to do next? I guess next we should take care of the dark eco-infected plants. Uh, maybe if I can get this guy real quick. Nah, he's taking off. Oh! Oh dear. Here we go again. I forgot I was down to one hit point. Kind of embarrassing, because I was right next to a green eco vent. It's the only... Oh, you see it in a second. Hey, there's the dark eco-infected plants. Let's try to get those. Oh, I didn't even see that. Whatever. Try to jump and get these. Go. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we'll get you in a little bit. This is the only time in the game you get an eco meter for the green eco. That's because your zoomer carries the eco and you run through the plants trying to uninfect all of them. This is another one I remember giving me quite a bit of trouble when I was younger. It took me a very long time to get this down. Considering you have to go back and make multiple trips to the eco event, it only gave me like a half charge. And the plants kind of quickly respawn on you, depending on if there's another plant next to them. Why'd that only give me half a charge? There, thank you. So you've got to work quickly. This might take a little while. Considering little patches can sprout up again depending on what you accidentally leave behind. As I've, as, as I've established, taking care of controlling the zoomer, not the easiest thing. Especially when you've got to do precision swerving around rocks. I think one or two more passes should take care of it. No, you don't. Quick sprout. Now back up. Come on. Almost. It's like one more plant over here. There we go. And a non-infected plant sprouts and gladly presents us with a power cell. Because, I don't know, plants can do that. Oh, you. You know you love us. This guy... Quite a pain in the butt because he goes to the upper area. Again. Ugh. Falling right on top of a dark ego box. Precision controlling with the zoomer. Not my strong suit. your number. I got your number and it is the number of the beast. I'm gonna take you out, hit you with my zoomer. Don't know what that meant I just said, but I said it. 
God, I said it. Running over an eco vent, of course, does give you a full charge of health, which is very handy. And there's one more flying lurker around here. Uh, we'll find him when we find him, I guess. I think there's only four, anyway. There he is. Well, let's take care of stuff up here first. There we go. Scout fly. One more. This is the part that can really screw with you if you forget that you can jump. Which I did. Took me a while to remember. There we go. As if precision uh, driving with the zoomer wasn't enough, you got to do some precision platforming. Which means we need to make another good jump. There we go. And another power cell. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. That took me a lot longer in my last playthrough. I just gotta swerve around all this, catch this last flying lurker, and this will be another power cell for us, I'm pretty sure. Come on. Oh, shoot. Started steering the wrong way. Come back here. Come back here. There we go. And there's that other power cell for us. Yep, I saw Kira. I got a couple more. Oh, just one more. There's the rest of the orbs here. Ah, which just leaves... Turning to the Gambler. And two more unaccounted for power cells. Which are probably two of my least favorite power cells in the game. Specifically why I saved them for last. Let's see, where is it? There it is. See that ring over there? We've got to do a bit of a Superman 64 style ring challenge here. Get through all of the rings or Lex wins. Or in this case, unnamed uh, evil floaty bad guys and lurkers. Oh no you don't. There is... Oh come on, that didn't count. Yeah, no kidding. Ah. Wait, I didn't get that? I flew right through it. Ah, your mother. Yeah, I really don't like the freaking uh, ring challenge here. Where am I? I'm completely lost. I ended up in the other area without even really realizing it. There it is. I am not a fan of this, ow, ring challenge. Two ring challenges, actually, because there's another one after this. Because, as I've established, precise control of the zoomer is not one of this game's strong suits. So sometimes you'll whiz by a ring, and it'll be a pain to get back to it in time. There is a little leeway time, but... It's probably not as much as you think. And it's not as evident with this challenge, but the next challenge is a bit of a thing with how the rings are placed. And these do go on for a while, ow. There's one.
Okay. That one's not that bad. Sorry about that. Now I just have to remember where the next one is. Because the next one is a pain. Alright. Just gotta remember where it starts. Where are you, Mr. Blue Ring? I at least like these rings better a little bit because they're blue. But the challenge itself is dumb. Uh, there it is. I gotta go up there. I think it kind of expects you to do the, uh... The, um... The ring challenges first, so it like gives you a tour around the area and you can collect a bunch of stuff. But no. I really don't like them. This blue ring challenge again does have a habit of setting the rings up just off screen to where the point you can't see them, and sometimes you don't know what direction you're supposed to go. See it like that one. It can be a bit of a thing. Oh, there we go. Don't. Alright. With any luck, I can take care of this right away. Doing good. I can do this. I'm like super jack here. Oh no. Come on. There we go. And see this one. Spawned off screen. Probably would have totally missed it if I didn't turn around in time. It is really bad. And that's not the last one. There we go. That's it. Ah, oh, got it. Hey, kind of in record time, too. I know Sleets thought this would t would have taken a little longer. I mean, I'm sure there's some Jack and Daxter master out there that can get that in, like, two seconds. They know exactly where the rings are laid out, you know. But with that, we are done with the Precursor Basin. We just gotta go get our other orbs from the Gambler and the Geologist. Oh, we've got all of those. We got all of these. 63 scout flies. One off from my favorite number ever, 64. And 55 power cells in total, bringing us to 54% completion. So, we're technically over halfway done with the game. Now, well, let's just drop off our zoomer. And go collect the rest of our power cells. of which is right here. Thank you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. No problem, headlamp lady. I like the color of her shirt. Very nice. Ow. Fire hurts. Hey there. Great move, kid. I knew that time record would fall. Now here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff. And since we're here and we have enough orbs for it. <laughs> oh yeah! These orbs will help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell I promised. 
Yeah, he is certainly not wearing pants. Neither is Dexter, actually. Ah, uh, anyway. With that, we now have all of the orbs from Rock Village. And a bit of an orb surplus there for the next air major area. Well, next major, uh... Next major hub area, I mean. But that surplus is going to get a little bigger because next time we are going off to the Boggy Swamp. Should be fun. Well, until then, this is Sparky signing off from Jack and Daxter. I will see you next time.